Good morning, Martin, evening or afternoon, whatever time it is for you. This is James. Um, I have to take down that other video because it's in copyright violation, YouTube says, because of the music that you can barely even hear if you turn up your speakers all the way. But their computers caught it because I had a radio going on in the background. But the radio was turned off, turned down to almost off. Anyway, here and over there, um, I made some configuration changes and for the better. It shows them, it demonstrates a little bit better. Um, actually, this starts to work, but not fully. It's kind of like an engine, it sputters. It almost stops and then it starts again. It almost stops and then it starts again. Well, let me show you what's going on here. First of all, as you know from the previous video, if you've already watched it, I have two stators. Now, I have to fess up something. Um, confess. I built this last night. It turns out when I built this, this is a better stator than the one I originally built. I guess each time you build one, you improve upon it a little bit. And the little bit of difference is quite a bit, apparently. Because what you'll notice is that when these lead magnets of this armature gets to this, it really starts to take off. However, when the same set of armature magnets, which has been marked by this tape, I mean this paper, it doesn't take off very well. But it really takes off when it gets to this one. Additionally, you have to tape... Let me show you get better light here. You need to tape three magnets really tight together here. See, one, two, three. How's nice and tight. When the magnets are tight, it really adds to the acceleration. So we have two sets of magnets. One here. I think there's 14 or 15 on each set. And then another set here. So these have also been taped as well, really tight. So the key is, as this enters here, it's helping to pull out this last armature magnet away from this stator as that lead magnets enter that stator number one. So then as this group of magnets comes in here, see if I let go, it starts to take off. As this set enters in, it helps to pull out the accelerate, it helps to accelerate it so the last lead magnets will come out easily. Now, unfortunately, there is no stator right here to help suck or pull this into the next field to help pull this out at the moment this is trying to leave. So this will kind of run, but it really needs it really needs a minimum of three stators to run. So let me just push this for you and show you what's going on. I'm going to focus on the stators because that's the most important part. I'm going to give this a good little show, but it will eventually come to a stop. But note the sudden burst of acceleration each time it passes this stator. Let me give us a good little nudge here. You'll notice it more so when it slows down, it's more apparent. Notice when this wheel starts to stutter, like an engine stutter, trying to start, but it can't. Okay, there we go, slowing down. I'll watch it accelerate there. See how it takes off? Watch it take off again. Whoosh! See how it takes off each time with stator number two? It really picks up on stator number two. So, this is where it ended. Let me do one more from above. See how it suddenly picked up again? And then suddenly picks up again. But, had there been another stator here for these lead magnets, it would have pulled those, these armature magnets into it, 
and would have successfully pulled this last magnet out from stator number two. Let me do a tight shot here, let it go slowly, and then we'll call it a day. See, that just only picks up. The stator number one picking up the wheel. I didn't give enough of a push. Let me give it a little bit better push. There we go. Yeah, it suddenly picks up speed there. Anyway, I also believe that the group and magnets, these groups need to be cut in half. So it'll be two groups of seven or eight magnets. The reason being is that once it's gotten to about here, there's really not much benefit. So this needs to be broken up, having a gap, and then a new set of armature magnets continues here. So, and that means that the stators will have to be closer together as well. Half the gap, which means it probably will take six or eight stators total. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, Martin, and whomever else has taken interest.